No base attack, no HP, no heal, no poison. It's a spicy kerfuffle lobby. Royalite's probably the better choice, but Zero is just so satisfying. There are four of these. Chest. What's wound to do different from poison? Wound triggers when you take damage, poison just triggers every 0.7 seconds. I'm not sure if the amount of damage they do is different. Wound is also countered by shield, where poison isn't. Wound gets shield strike. Poison doesn't. Yep. Triggers on each instance of damage you take. And then it reduces like poison does. This game Google translated? I don't know. Shield is a weird sentence. Yeah, it used to be worse. They did fix a lot of it. Interest here. What's the wound lightning thing called? The ultimate? Uh... I just call it wound ultimate. Is it Endless Thunder? And shield combo seems like auto win? It's really good through the early and mid game. It falls off a bit in the late late game. Weak early? Shield strike specifically is not. Shield Strike is probably the strongest thing to do in the early game. Uh, losing that win streak sucks. Yeah, and the Thunder is really good, like, turns before, like, turn 18. But it does eventually run into the same problem that poison builds get into, where it's just not quite enough on its own. Hey, Mastermind. Thanks for the Prime. Thanks for the 26. Welcome back. I have all these already. Shall we play the game randomly bans four of the branches? Yes. There are 12 branches in total. Four of them are banned. Heroes have branches associated with them too, so if you're a hero associated with a branch that's banned, that hero will also not be offered.
shield strikes. We have this one. We pick a contract. We're going to want this with four of these guys in the lobby. I'm gonna drop the interest to get it now. Yeah, it's fine. Hey, it's a real memoir. Thanks for the raid. Welcome, everybody. Hope your stream went well. Yeah, I'm not sure what Blade Master's secondary is, if he has one, and I'm not sure what Frostborn Lords is either. I think some heroes might just have one branch. Another damage instance. Clean. See four things. Storage help. Oh, very good treasure. Basically. <laughs> I'll probably max my shield strike, max my shield smash, maybe max my free battle wound. Axing pre battle wound also briefs all four of these guys. They were all finding ultimate skills. Fighting for ultimate, probably because they can. That's what the shops are giving them. To be fair, I think we're all fighting for wound too. Yeah, just getting out of the pool. Because their comp needs three of these. Back on the interest. Um, maybe. I don't know. All the players going for ultimate are hitting. <laughs> like, 
None of them have lucked into initiative strike, but they've got the rares. Turn. Probably get shield 24 and then never lose another fight for the rest of the game. Famous last words. So they've got an initiative strike. <laughs> they don't have any other rares though. Uh... They weren't even one of the players that were. <laughs> There's five people. Top branching ultimate. What in the world? For a third branch. We could go either Sprite or Rage. Rage gets us more damage, Sprite gets us more survivability. Diverse cast, three spider, four demon shadow, one forest ranger. <laughs> Sounds like a pretty nice lobby to be the spider. Four demon shadow? Four demon shadow is crazy. I don't even think I don't think there is a set of branches. Where I would want to be Demon Shadow. Are there eight branches where Demon Shadow is a top 10 hero? Yeah, I'm thinking, like, if there's no poison... Well, there's already poison. Wait. <laughs> Four people picked Demon Shadow into a poison lobby. <laughs> what the fuck? That's, like, the first thing that would make me rule out Demon Shadow. on shield. Oh, we could. We could. I don't know. Nobody else has any free battle wounds. Easy. Can you do HP, dodge, crit, demon shadow? It just seems like too much.
I... I mean, there's nothing wrong with crossing over tree. This lobby was strange, to say the least, but... Um... Yeah, like, they have Patron Rod. They also healed 15 life. That probably helped. I feel like we just wasted a high roll game. Uh, theory freeze. Guessing they had max theory freeze. Yeah. Dodge treasure compass gave you two magic dodge. The uh, rage. Uh, first people down with kerfuffle. No sprite, no heal. The other Kerfuffle or Royal Knight, I'm pretty sure. Both similar ish plans in terms of what they want to buy. One wants to end fights quick, one wants to drag fights on. The last two Pirate Hats have been really good. Ooh, wait. I believe. I no longer believe. Um... At least we got a shield strike. Good luck, good luck. A lot of dwarves. So it's kind of like TFT, uh, in the sense that it's an auto battler. You got gold, you buy from shops, there's interest. Uh, it's not really a roguelike. It's a multiplayer game. It's an eight-person lobby. Battles are automatic. Yep, free to play. It's currently just a demo on Steam, but I think the plan is for it to always be free. Pretty sure. Like, 99% sure. I mean, he got murdered by everyone except you. That lobby was a disaster. I was incapable of doing anything. Uh, you just use the codes. You just put those in. And unlock a ton of stuff. Two cup it. That's what's happened to me every time I've played the Venom Sorceress recently. I'll have a really good early game, but I don't know how to transition that hero into something that does something late. code is this? If you In the main menu, if you go into the options, there's a place to input gift codes. You just put all those in and you get a ton of gems. Um... Greed 
here. Frost Nova, Fury stuff, Little Poison. Boy, he's cogging. <sighs> no new codes. There might be another one. Those are the ones that I have input. I probably want to be mostly full spending with loot chest triumph sword. I don't want to lose fights. Clean. Time to acquire our riches. Yeah, if anyone's in the Discord has a more recent code, I will add it to the command. So I'm not even in the Discord. Ah, okay. Doesn't often I'll take it. Oh hey, three battle wounds. Another plus one twenty. Keep reading all the way to ten. Oh no. Give me your gold! Plus 160. Is that more? Hopefully we get a patron rod. It doesn't exactly get first place without a patron rod. I mean, they're about to get Nova. I... Yeah, you, you get a lot. You get a lot. We'll interest a little bit. Poison wound. Oh, 
Pickled Heritage. Gonna try to go Wound first. Maybe Max Interest. Any damage. I guess there's gonna be Novas, which makes this a lot less good. Just try to end fights with Shield Smash. Do you have a lot of gold saved, or is it over for you? Import Random Rush's Brand Freaks Lobby makes the gameplay definitely more interesting, but also confuses you on what to buy for the heroes you pick. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of the point. It makes every lobby very different. A lot of learning the game is learning what comps you can go for based on the branches available. There are some things that look completely busted in some lobbies that aren't playable in others. Just buying random cards. Yeah. Well, I'm not a huge fan of it, but I know some people really enjoy it. So many shield shops. No. We're gonna go shield the 40. Book of Heritage is like a slow patron rod. Everything is fine. 810. Oh, hey, your goblin parts. About as good as my loot chest. <laughs> Where'd their life go? Am 
our shield skills now. their shield progress. Eight hundred and forty value. Sixteen life healed. Less than my loot chest. Unlock all the heroes, and then... You should have more than 5k, right? Wait. This code should give you enough to unlock all the heroes, and then the good treasures, no? Maybe you get way more from the battle pass than I think you do. Definitely unlock the battle pass. That was the biggest stomp of a game that I have played in a very long time. Never lost a fight. Yeah, let me... Just a quick demonstration. So... You, to enter the codes, you go here, here, here. I think I didn't put this one in yet. Yeah, so there's 800. And this is 77. Wrong gift code or has already been claimed. Oh, it's the other way around. This is a yes. Settings, gift code. Another 800. And then you can go into the store. You can trade the diamonds in for crystals here, which are used to unlock heroes. And then the premium pass. Definitely get the premium pass. What is this? Tarot times 100, Royale Crystal times 1,000 for 680. Wait, that's a worse deal than this. Unless you care about the tarot's. Yeah, so just buy crystal packs. And then with the crystals, you can unlock things. You go into gallery. You can click on any hero you don't have unlocked. And you should be able to buy it here. Same thing with treasures. I would not recommend just unlocking random treasures. Try to pick ones that you think you're going to play. Because the treasures do dilute the pool. So, like, for example, if you think bonus cap is unplayable garbage... If you don't unlock it, you'll never see it offered. Or I guess... The ones that I would recommend unlocking... Uh, replica Scales is very good to see... Uh, to get multiple copies of like base attack and... Multiple copies of rares for comps that really care about that. Mysticism Tome, really good. <laughs> More fun that way. I I could see that, but... I don't know. If I'm just going to roll whenever I see them, like, I'm not going to want to pick the bad treasures anyway. I'd rather just leave them locked. I agree with that logic for heroes. Like, unlike all the heroes, you might as well play with them, but... I don't know. Feels like a pretty big disadvantage to unlock the treasures and get Patron Rod less often. Oh, we are getting a reset? That's cool. 